Hey guys, it's your boy Nate, aka Killer Snake here, back with again with another video. Recording this video for the third time, the first two times didn't work. Alright, so. Turn the sound down too. Sound was too loud. For the video, it's too loud. Uh, let me see, let me check the sound real quick, guys, before I talk about what I'm doing in this video. Sound, volume's all the way, volume's all the way up. Alright, so, I'm sorry, I didn't know volume was all the way up, I'm sorry about that, guys. Alright, so, to this video, we're doing something new. This is my ep first episode of my new series of, um, um, this is the first series of, a, a series I call Battle of the Car Brands for Greenville. I um, might do one for Primark Pines UD Drive. We'll see. I do have a UD Drive video coming out tomorrow. If you guys want to see some on UD Drive as well, that is coming out tomorrow. So look forward to that tomorrow. All right. So today, basically, what this series is, guys, is I get two vehicles. I get basically I get two vehicles. I put them against each other and I do tests and see which one has some. So on these tests are based on points. Whichever vehicle that comes out with the most points. It's the winner. So, for example, so first thing we do is a zero to sixty time and a zero to one hundred time. Zero to one hundred, zero to sixty, because they're both combined. This acceler, I call it the acceleration test, is worth two points. All right. Next, we have braking. Braking test is worth two points. Next, we have top speed test, which is worth three points. All right. And we have the handling test, which is worth two points. And the looks, which basically look, looks and how pop it looks and how it looks and stuff, how cool it looks, that is worth four points. So let's go over it, just in case y'all missed it. Just in case I, you know, so. Acceleration test, deceleration test is worth two points. Braking test is worth two points. Acceleration, um, top speed test is worth three points. Um, handling is worth two points. And looks is worth four points. Whichever, one, whichever vehicle of the two, has the or three sometimes I may do a three-way battle depending on which car has the most points at the end that vehicle is the winner so the vehicles we have going up to the vehicles we have today is we have to the two competitors we have today are this the 1997 Honda Civic sedan and the 2002 Chevy Impala got also guys um, before you before you watch more of this video, make sure you guys go in the comment section and put down the list. Who do you think will win this win this fight, this battle between the two, these two cars? Do you think the 2002 Chevy Impala will win, or do you think the 1997 Honda Civic sedan will win? Who do you think is gonna win this? Huh, let's, let's find out. So we're gonna, we're gonna use the we're gonna use the Honda Civic sedan first, and we're gonna do a top speed test. Top speed tests again are worth three points. Right? Yeah, three points, I think. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, three points. They're worth three points. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to make them three points. I think top speed, I think top speed test, or, I'll make the top speed test three points. Simply because top speed test is, you know, that's kind of important in a race, in a long stretch race. So I'm guessing, yeah. So let's do this. Top speed test. First test of the video. Top speed is 119 miles per hour. So that right now, boom, 119, 119 miles per hour is the top speed for the 1990 Civic Honda Civic sedan. Let's find out what a Chevy Impala can do. The 2002 Chevy Impala. I'm counting on you, Chevy Impala. You got this. Reach your top speed. Come on, no, you can do it. Come on. Okay, 126 miles per hour. So the 126 miles an hour. So because the, so the Chevy Impala, so Chevy Impala has a higher top speed, guys. So 
in case of that, the points go to the 2000 Chevy Impala. So, so right now it's three point, uh, no, yeah, three points to the Chevy, 2002 Chevy Impala and zero points to the Honda Civic Sedan. So right now, the Chevy Impala is winning. Now we're gonna be doing the acceleration time, zero to 60. Oh crap. Oh crap, no. I completely forgot about fuel. Oh, we're screwed. Hold up. This thing out of fuel? Oops. Okay, well before we do before we before we do the zero to sixty time, we need to refuel my um Chevy Impala. It's out of fuel. <laughs> I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about checking the um the Johnskis. So I was like, wait a second, what? So we're gonna go over here and spawn this bad boy over here. Can this work? I don't know. Please work? No. Uh -oh. Fell completely. All right. It's filled up, guys. It's filled up. I need my snack, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this test, guys, we're gonna go to the drag strip because that is the best place to do an acceleration test. Straight line, nothing that no curves, just straight line. Best place to do acceleration tests in the world. Or oh, one of the best places to do acceleration tests in this game. Oh crap. Wow, that ended that ended pretty badly. These car if these cars could actually have damage, my car would probably be totaled after that. But you know what? Alright, so So now we're here, I'm gonna explain how this test is going to work. I'm gonna get my phone. I need the phone for this. My phone for this. All right. Here is how this test, this acceleration test, is going to work. Let me take the phone out of it. Here, here is how it's going to work. All right, my dudes, my guys. Here's how it's going to work. I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna hit the gas and go from zero to sixty. I'm and zero to one, zero to sixty. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do zero to sixty three different times three different times the first time i'll be first time i do it I will, I will be using only automatic transmission the second time i'll be using manual and the third time if the car has it if it doesn't i'll just be using it two times manual with clutch only if the car has it all right so then to do a hundred times i'm going to do i'm going to do it with manual and i'm only going to do it one time and whichever one comes on top comes out on top overall is the winner right so i have my phone here and I, I'm, I'm gonna go to my phone i'm gonna put on my clock i'm gonna uh, stopwatch and i'm gonna start it when i hit the gas i'm gonna start the stopwatch and the gas at the same time when the car hits 60 miles an hour i will stop the stopwatch and not be the time whichever time it is whichever the three times is the fastest it's the time i'm gonna use the the time i'm gonna use as its best time all right but well, first we use automatic transmission Three, two, one, go. So when this thing hits 60 miles an hour, boom. All right, 12.43. All right, so that's not bad. So it hits 60 miles an hour in 12.43 seconds. So now we're going to turn around and do it again. But I'm using manual transmission this time. I won't be using automatic. So it's going to be a little bit tougher. Now we're going to 
Do the same thing again with manual. Three, two, one, go. Thirteen seconds flat. All right. Thirteen seconds. Oh, not too bad. Thirteen seconds. So, so far his best time is 12.43. Thirteen seconds is his worst time. So let's see if this manual, so then we'll do it one more time. Because both, now again, both this and the Honda do have manual with clutch. So, I can actually do it three times. All right. Hold on, let me back up. All right, three, I can hold. Three, two, one, go. Come on, Impala, you got this. Okay, um, I'm gonna say, so 13, um, it says 13.919, but I did hit the stop button a little bit past 60, so I'm gonna round it down to at least 13 seconds. So this thing's best time is 12.43. That is this thing's best time. All right, so let me stop, oh my God, let's get out the car. Again, if you guys did not hear me, um, because the sound was too loud. I'm pretty, I'm on like the two uh two bar sound. So you guys should be able to hear me anyway. But I'm gonna say it anyway. Just to remind you guys again, the fastest time for the 2002 Chevy Impala is 12.43. It's time to see if this car, Honda Civic Sedan, which is losing to the Chevy Impala due to three points, can pull a win. Now again, you need to remember this is two points. Even if it does. If it does win this, as I'm hoping it will, I'm hoping it won't, it won't but who knows. Um, if it does win this, it will, the Chevy Impala will only be ahead by one point. But, let's see if it does. Alright, so this automatic transmission. Three, two, one, go. So as soon as it hits 60 miles an hour, we stop this bad boy. Boom. Oh wow. 10.93. Way better. The 10.93. So already. I don't know. I don't know. So we got 10.93 for the Honda Civic sedan. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, hold up. Let's do, let's do that again. And then hit the stopwatch. I kind of missed. All right, let me try it again. Sorry. Mess up. Take a time. Three, two, one, go. Eleven point six nine, so one second slower, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to refuel this thing after this. I'm gonna have to refuel the, the, uh, the car after this. All right, so last test. We'll do it again with manual clutch because it does in fact have it. Then we're gonna do the brake test. And the brake, now I will explain that because the brake test is a little bit different how we do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh crap, I messed up again. Let's do a phone, all right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, ready? Go, come on. Come on, hit 60, hit 60, hit 60. 60. 12.28. So this thing's fastest time acceleration is 10.93.
and the fastest time for the Chevy Impala is 12.43. So, so far, Honda Civic sedan is actually ahead, which is surprise, very surprising. Next is the braking test. Now, how we work the braking test is a little bit different than acceleration test. So, we want to get as much speed as possible, possible before we have to brake to really test the brakes. You know, if you had a lower speed, the car would stop. So we need a higher speed. So, I stopped the car here at this black line here. All right. So I hit the gas and go. Right. Um. So, basically, I hit the gas and go, and I stop once we hit the white line. The car that's closest to the white line after stopping is the winner. So let's go. Three. Two, one, go. Again, I'm only doing this once. All right, when we get to the white line, we break. Break. So you break actually you can see this thing when you guys can turn out the drive chip turn around right there it stopped right after that so the Chevy Impala stops before that point now I just want to explain for further like stuff if we ever in the series have a car where we do a test like acceleration test and brake test if we ever do it where a car a car one car wins to both acceleration tests but loses the um loses uh, let's say we have Let's say I have the 2013 Ford F-150 and the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Let's say the Chevy Silverado wins the acceleration test, but the Ford F-50 wins the braking test. The Chevy, the Chevy, the Chevy Silverado will still get the two points, but because the, the Ford F-50 won the braking test, it would get one point because it did win the braking test. But, you know... Just for further reference, if that ever does happen, um, who knows? I will say it might happen in this video. The reason I say that is because I, again, I have had these cars for a while now before doing this video, so I kind of know. And I will say, in my opinion, the brakes are about even, or a little, or you know. But we're about to find out truthfully if they're even or not. We're about to find out right now. Ready? Three, two, one. I slam that pedal. We're gonna stop again. We're stopping at the white line. At that white line. So, you know, that's just you know. So we can Boom. stop, 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 and wow. Well, I was right. The stopping distance is. Um, let's see. All right, all right. So, when we ever have something like this where it's almost identical, even, we just look at which one made it the furthest. So, the so we see the back of the car is really, really close to that part, the end part right here. The Civic Sedan was more, was a little bit further along. So, because this, because I uh, know, yeah, so this. The Chevy Impala did stop slightly better, slightly more closer to, closer to the white line than the um, Hendes Civic Sedan. So the brake test win is going to go to the Chevy Impala. So for that reason, um, the winner. So right now I'm going to give the the Honda, Civic, the Honda Civic Sedan now has two points, and the Chevy Impala has four points because I did I do I mean I'm gonna give it one point because it did win the braking test but like the because it did win the braking test like I explained before so last so there's no only there's only two more tests to go before we declare who is the winner of this video which car is the winner all right two more tests decide to two more, te two more tests with these two more well things will decide which car is the winner next the next test we have coming up right now is the handling test after that, we are gonna have the looks test. Which one looks the best? Based on personal preference, 
Um, when it comes to looks, I'm just gonna say which one looks more sleek, basically. Um, and that, and I'm gonna be more as non-personal opinion as possible. I'm gonna look at, see, honestly, which car do I think is looks better and more sleeker? I'm just gonna say it, and I'm not gonna be like, well, I like this car better. I'm gonna be straight up, nope, my opinion won't matter. It'll be facts. All right, so next is the handling test. So here's how the handling test is gonna work. I'm gonna drive around the circle here, and a, and if I and a car that stay, the car that the car that the car that I can say closest to the circle the longest will be the winner. So if I'm driving a circle and I my wheels can almost touch or even touch the, the gray circle the entire time, the entire two two laps, then and you know then another car can't do that. Then the winner is the car that can stay. So we'll see. So right. So let's go. Two laps. We're gonna stay as close. Okay. okay. We'll stay as close to this. So this we're doing the first lap right now. Get the groove. And we're gonna stay as close to the circle as we can. One more lap. And a shut and right there. So the Chevy Impala did quite well. I'm very surprised at how well the handling is considering it is long. Because I used to say that because my Chevy Impala is longer and wider than the Honda Civic sedan. So I expected it to do worse. Like really badly because of how but not so much. We're going to go and do this lap with this car. So let's begin our lap. Let's go over here. So, gotta say, surprise. Now, if we ever had this in, in the video, we ever had this in the series, we have basically a tie. Both of them get two points. Because I'm gonna say that was an honest tie to me. So, both vehicles get two points. So, now, um, the, so now, four points. In the, so, the set, Honda Civic Sedan now has four points. And, the Chevy Impala has six points now, so four, six. So the Chevy Impala is two points ahead. Now, next test comes. This is more, not a test, but it's more of a kind of, okay, we'll see. So what, um, it's, this next test, last test, this last thing here I'm gonna do next is gonna decide the winner of this whole entire video. The winner of this, the winner card of this entire video. So I'm gonna talk about looks. Which one looks more sleeker than the other. Now, I I mean like more aerodynamic, more sleeker. Which one looks like that? And I'm gonna have to give that to the Chevy Impala. Now, before you guys are saying, hey, no, I want this, this Civic Sedan better. I'm not saying it because I'm not, now I'm not, I'm, I'm voiding, I'm voiding, I'm taking out my personal preference and looking at just straight up facts. Which one is more aerodynamic? Fact. Which one is more aerodynamic? Not, all right? And it's a Chevy Impala. The reason that Chevy Impala is more air than not, this car is, the way this car is shaped and built, is more like a box. And the Chevy Impala is more like an airplane. Right? It's, it's, the top of the car is shorter and longer, and then more, the more longer, more curves it has. This car is more boxy because it's built for a different reason, but it's more boxy. You can see, you see this car, you can see the curves. And you can just see more curves, more than that. Now, now you guys think, no, I'm not, now this is not my opinion. This is facts, not opinion, all right? All right, this, and it has also, it has a spoiler here to help downforce and stuff. And it does go at high speed. So I'm going to have to give the win to, I mean, Paula. So that is four points. So that's 10, yeah. Wait, yeah, 10, yeah. That's 10 points to go to the, uh, that's 10 points for the 2002 Chevy Impala, which, mean, which means the winner between the two is the 2002 Chevy Impala comes out as the winner. All right. So if you guys are happy about that, let me know if you're not. Whatever. But the Chevy the 2002 Chevy the 2002 Chevy Impala is the winner. All right. This car beat beat it by a lot of points. All right. Now I was surprised. Um. When it comes to handling, I was very one thing I was very surprised about is the handling. 
both this and a, and a, and a um, Honda Civic sedan were dead even in handling. They were dead even. Both justice even. So they both got two points. Um, the Chevy Polo did lose the acceleration of 0 to 60 and 0 to 100 to the Civic sedan. So that's what from heard it. Um, but Chevy Polo came back strong, strong with the winning the brake test, being closer to that white line. And the ultimate winner is the Chevy Impala. Um, make sure you stay tuned for future my videos. Also, my other, some of my other I'm planning on posting tomorrow with UD Drive video. I will be doing Battle of the Car Brands for UD Drive as well. I'm still thinking with you because we're going to pin up against each other first. But we will see. Alright, guys, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I have more, I have more car, battle, brand, car battle the car brand videos coming soon. The next battle the car brand video is going to be the 2011 Dodge Ram versus the 2013 Ford F-150 Platinum. Those are the two next vehicles going head to head in the next battle. All right. So, who do? You, also, guys, put in the comment section. Who do you think is going to win the battle? The next battle. The, the 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 or the 2013 Ford F 150. I'm hoping the Ford F 150 wins, but only my test, my the test will decide who wins. So let me let me guys know who do you think who do you think will win the next battle, the Ford F 150 or the Dodge Ram? What do you think? Make sure you guys subscribe if not already. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Drop a like, comment, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.